So we're here at uh, IBC 2014, and uh, who are you? Roland Artman, VP Marketing, Live View. So Live View, you provide a solution for live video streaming from anywhere? Anywhere. Using cellular connectivity, Wi-Fi line and anything. What we do actually, we have multiple SIM cards in each one of the, our device. We bond them together to create essentially a fat pipe of transmission allowing us to, to transmit HD quality video to anywhere in the world. How many uh, SIM cards you can have in this one, for example? Well, in this, in this one that we actually just introduced yesterday, this is a two SIM card solution that can actually fit on every camera. So it's just like a, a normal shoe there, you put it on, what you, do you put in? You, you put two SIM cards here. Yeah. You, you can bond also Wi-Fi, and you can also you can bond Wi-Fi. I can also put LAN connectivity here. And once the camera goes live, and you press the red button, this device will transmit live the uh, the video footage from the camera directly to the studio. Can we see behind? So there's a there's an Ethernet over there. There's an Ethernet. There is two USB cards. What do you do with the USB? Well, you can do a couple of things. You can connect additional modems outside, or you can put your own uh, modems, and you can do. Uh, you can actually get files from here and upload files to the unit, and from the unit send them back to the studio uses the cellular connectivity. Five. Yeah. Five connections, all bonded into one. Into one unit. This is your technology. Unit. That's our technology. It's our patent technology. We pioneered the field back in 2006. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Uh, is this the previous version, the big one? Well, it's not the previous version. I mean, uh, we understand that uh, you know there is a toolkit for any broadcasters. Yeah. They will need several devices. One of them is a premium product. Is the LU500. This is an eight modem uh, solution with two LANs, SDI, HDMI out. And the same way that I gave you an example of the LU200, this is our you know, flagship product, the LU500. Flagship, uh, and uh, so CNN, BBC, they all have one, right? Everyone. It's, uh, everybody? Everybody. I mean, we serve uh, over um, 600 clients in the world, all the T1 broadcasters in the world, whether, like you mentioned, um, CNN, CBS, BBC, Reuters, AP, um, Eurosport. Is it possible to say that Live View has uh, changed uh, kind of like uh, broadcast media? So Live View did two things. First of all, it created a market that was wasn't existed before. Actually, so like uh, using the internet for TV. Using cellular for TV. Cellular. So yeah. cellular connectivity for TV. Actually, uh, what we call it is yeah. what we're saying is a is a satellite truck in a backpack. Satellite That's, truck in a backpack. That's what it is. I mean, what does it say here? Live view of the FIFA this World is, Cup. This is the, the World Cup. We had 80 broadcasters. We had 200 live view units. We had 2,000, 2000 uh, uh, 3,000 hours of sessions uh, doing during the, the, the World Cup. Um, How is connectivity in Brazil? Excellent. 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 We HD. Thought, we thought that the 4G networks wouldn't be sufficient, but they were excellent allowing to pr produce HD quality back to, to uh, any studio in the world. So thanks to you, people have been able to watch live video from like the, the training grounds where all the teams are, the hotels, exactly. the buses what arriving. We, we, what we are giving, I mean, essentially, if you're thinking about cellular connectivity, if you can make a phone call, you can transmit live video. So unlike the satellite, when you need light of sight and you need those big satellite trucks, you can use us to go on high-rise building on basements, on the move, you know, while, while driving. So it gives you the flexibility and portability that cannot be achieved by other means of uh, broadcasters. And let's see some examples of some crazy ways. Uh, you show on a, on a quadcopter there. Is it yeah. actually real or this is just a... This is a Nice. Who's making this quadcopter? This is an Italian company that we are partnering with. Italian and it's drone. stable? It's stable. It makes good video? Yeah, it's, it makes HD quality video. We have the small one over there with an HD camera and with, with this one. 
So, um, the same company is making this one? Same company is making this one. And you even have the Live View logo on top? Yep. So all you need, all you need from this one. So that means you can do live quadcopter video anywhere. Exactly. Anywhere. I mean, anywhere. We just take this unit, connect it to an SDI or HDMI, and this one actually you launch it by hand. You just launch, you just launch it by launch hand. Launch it by hand, and you have uh, overview. You have overview like a with an HD, with an it's HD like a helicopter in the in the, in exactly. the backpack, right? Exactly. <laughs> So this is gonna be uh, great for people who wanna do car chase videos in the USA or, no, I'm just joking. It could be anything, right? <laughs> anything. Think about it, you know, music concerts, festivals, um, news. Can you use the live view to uh, remote control it all over the country? You know what I mean? Like the range could be enhanced. Well, the cellular obviously is everywhere. Here you definitely need a remote control to control the unit. You do RF by itself to control it. You couldn't yeah. use the live view to do that? Mm, not, not, not yet, not yet. Because then the that's, range would be really far. That's a good, that's, that's right. So as long as you have cellular connectivity, you can control it, but not, not yet. Let's see a little bit over here what's going on. So this is actually this is a video that's shot by, uh, shot by the... Uh... So this is new? Yes. This you is you new. just showed it here at IBC? Just showed it in IBC. This is all, this is all taken by, uh, this is all taken by uh, the live view, the live view connected to, to, to the helicopter. This is exactly... And this is live. This can be live. This, this, this is about live. You're about live. It's you about live, but you, we, we do store and forward. You can record anything on the device and later on send it in a high res or high res so let's assume you're in a remote area you don't have any connectivity you can still use it but when you move into an area where there is reception you can send it you don't need to go to your near starbucks you don't need to your hotel you don't need to go to anywhere where there is wi-fi you can use our device to send the materials back to the studio so is your technology the only one in the world that works in a trade show to broadcast live well, I, I wouldn't say the only one, but we patent the technology. We are the pioneer of the technology. And obviously, I could say that we are the best in the world. Yes, we are. You are. <laughs> but uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 like an affair. There's always lots of cell phones, but your bonding makes it possible to, to get some Correct. data out, right? Correct. That's why I see people at CES, all these bloggers, doing, they're using live view. Exactly. Because it's the only way they can get a live video out. Exactly. And it does it work? It, it works perfect. But sometimes the, the, there has to be dropouts, no? It has to be dropout because, but because of the uh, uh, algorithms that we have in the units and what we call it uh, forward error correction, if the, if the unit, if the base station on the other side of the broadcast will see that he lost the frame, he will send back to the unit and ask, send me back the frame. So essentially you're not losing a frame. So there might be some buffer time? Like it's, there could exactly. be 15 seconds? What is it there? Be, it, could be all the way, it could be all the way up to one one minute even one assuming minute. that you're going over a tunnel that you're going over a tunnel so you will broadcast in the beginning and then you will broadcast in the end but in the meantime you have that gap so so you can you overcome that. that yeah yeah live you overcome that what, and sustain that what is this cellular connectivity so you can mount it on a car yeah you can mount that on a car because it is it, I can even assuming you can have a portal a line of away from the unit itself. Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking about congestion? Just a little bit of 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 a good reception away from the current tower that everybody is in, is in here. So it actually picks signals from a different tower, from a different cell. And then you broadcast some kind of RF that's a different spectrum or what? No, 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 you broadcast cellular. This is also cellular. This, this, is, a, SIM this cards. is a baseband. This is got a, six SIM cards that talks with the, with the other units. So you have combined, you can get all the way up to 14 connections. 14? 14. 14 connections, but, uh, simultaneously. It's sending to your other live view separate at this different place in the cellular bandwidth, in a cellular spectrum. What do we do? No, no, we, we, we just, we're using the, we're using the, the regular cellular. We send it up in the air. We split the signal into eight or fourteen different different uh, uh, networks. 
we send it over the internet and on your base station, which is your MCR, we combine them all together to create a one HD quality video. So now we're talking about LTE. Does that mean oh. you can do 4K live or not yet? Uh, not yet. Have you tried? Not yet. No, we haven't tried it yet. It should be but possible, we'll, right? We'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely reach that. This is going to be the solution for 4K live. Um, one Anywhere. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah.